guys, what's up? What's going on? Back with another video. So today we're gonna be working on my tires. So come on over. Okay. I just been working on it a little bit. Um, I've been sanding it up, cleaning it up. I've just been taking a paper towel and just and then spraying some WD-40 on it. So yeah. All right. Uh, if you haven't seen part one. So it'll be right here somewhere up here so if you guys like the video give a like if this helps you out give a like and make sure to subscribe so let's get into the video all right guys so i'm using a utility drive to do this as in the last video i started on it a little bit and just follow through on it so that's all I'm really gonna do. I ain't gonna bore you with seeing it. So, yeah. So, wait, let me really focus. Okay. Well, now we got down to the wire bands. Let's see. And now that I saw in the last video that I take a hammer and some kind of hex screwdriver thing that I just insert it and then pound and then pull so I got down to there I previously cut right there but I didn't cut it good enough so I just cut here and I'll get back to you guys when I am There we go. Yeah. Let me just finally take it off. Oh man. I gotta do it. Well, okay. Okay. See if we can somehow get it off. Okay, screwed every time. Okay, I need to do this with my right hand. It's hard to film one handed and do this. I screwed every in there and just. I'll get back to you guys when I get it off. Just wow. Wow. Yeet, just like the other one. Alright, so we got all the rubber off. And yeah. Quite a workout if you ask me. But it was all fun. It was hard, sadly. But it was all for the better good. So guys, I'm just gonna Take this old fancy room, set it down, and take off these lug nuts. Would you shut up, you frickin' squirrels? Jesus. I don't know where you at, but you're freaking annoying. Jeez. I tell you, those squirrels. Take the second one off. Oh, that. Put it up here. Where I lose it. All right, now we can take the rim. Rim on somewhere. Let's do it on all the way. See the rim. All right, let's take it. Now our lug nuts. They're up here. Take a lug nut and a washer. 
put it on. One. I'm only putting these finger tight because I still need to get tight as a freeze. Alright, there it is. One. Second one. Washer and nuts. And make sure to do it crossways because then it'll be uneven. So, where am I? Washer and nuts. Hmm. I think it's being difficult. I'll spin her around. Which is, she's tight. And I'll grab the third. Alrighty, let's get it on. Put it around, get a finger tight, and then grab the last two things, put it on, hmm. boom, oh shoot. Oh, both tires are off, and the front ribs are on. I mean, it looks kind of goofy, but... So, alright, let's put all the tools away. Alrighty, so I just wanted to do a little overview of this thing. Get your arm off. So yeah, I am showing you guys the full compatibility of this thing. So how you take the seat off is the little socket right here, and then a little handle. You just take it off. And you can see a little handle. Just put that off to the side. All right, then. So. Here is the air filter. I I really don't need one because it's pretty clean. So if I can just unmute. Take it off. Cover off. Yeah, there it is. It's okay. It's not the best. But it really does the job. It's, it runs well. Maybe it hasn't, it hasn't been started in like a couple days. I mean, it's just been sitting here waiting for tires to be put on it. Here's one. Here's one. Otherwise, it has around, it has just breaking 4,000 miles, or 400 miles, I should say. Or no, yeah, 4,000 miles. And then I already put on 45 miles on it. I mean, it ain't that much. Maybe like 100 some hours, or 200, 300 some hours, I don't know. Then the battery comes right here, it's only a... It's a 1.2 amp battery, and yeah, and then the fuel system and all that's under here. So, get a seat. Put our brick on. Come on. And there's a little thing under here. I gotta make sure that it, the little thing goes in like that. Here, I'll just take it. Here we go. There she is. Oh, wait, no. There. So, 
there's a little feel on and off switch under here and then the spark plug is right here yeah pretty good that big one and then the brake back brake is right here then front brake it has no front brakes as you see it's still rolling let's get this ball from the frame let's just turn the front brake nothing because there's no brake fluid in here and to get brake fluid that screw right there is stripped I mean, that one's still good but otherwise yeah it's a pretty good ATV I like it rims definitely need cleaning definitely there is no doubt about it in the semi-automatic it's five speed <coughs> this exhaust needs attention comes out back here right there it has not much of a muffler but it has one then like little fender flares and then mud guns so yeah that's all there is for today's video so if you liked it like and subscribe for more drop a comment of what i did wrong or what of uh, what i did right what i could do better because i like doing these youtube videos and i don't want to do stuff wrong and then you guys like not like it so if down in the comments could you tell me what i did wrong or what i could do better so that's it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace